scan the body weight, scan if you relax from head to toe. One time, two time, three times. Every time you do, you inhale, feel body lighter, exhale, feel body heavier. Inhale, feel lighter. But remember where you start breathing. If you're breathing from here, the first time you inhale from here, after you exhale, it should drop you. The next time from here, you inhale, and exhale from here, dropping. And check your tailbone dropping so the body weight really transfer down to the feet. Now your left feet is really totally free. That's the time to open it. And open it, whatever the comfortable size at the right size, not using muscle. Keep your tailbone in the same spot. Then inhale, feel lighter, exhale, going heavier. Check the body totally transfer to the feet. The next inhale, lighter body, exhale, your dropping body, same time, your arm floating up. Same speed, check if it's even. Everywhere should be even. Doesn't matter how high your hand, as long as it's even. Okay, this time, little lower doesn't matter. And once you finish this one, you remain in your platform on your, your hand. From here, you're pushing your body up. So the hand not move the position, but your body moving. And right now, you should feel your leg very heavy, especially on the back of your leg, because you're totally relaxed on your body. You push your body up from here, not moving the hand, because the platform holding the whole body up. Next move, you need to turn the right feet, but you have to shifting your whole body weight to the left leg. So your center axis goes through your body weight axis, make the whole body weight on the left. At the time, you can freely turn your right hand. Same time, doing the holding ball position, but don't move your tailbone. The tailbone, you have to keep dropping in the same position so you can feel your whole body weight on the right leg now. Your left leg is totally free. That's the time to close it. If not free, you need to relax more. Check your access, check your back tailbone, and make sure the weight goes through one leg. Your right leg should be very heavy. Open. Turn a little bit, stand up a little bit so you have room. Just shifting your body weight to the front leg. And now you start dropping your body, not moving your hand, dropping your body, and try to lift up your front left leg a little bit. You can feel clearly the pressure transfer to the right leg in the back, and the back of the right leg is very heavier than the front leg comes out. Next move, same thing, shift to the other leg so you can turn the left leg. Now you're holding the ball back to the back leg. Check your center axis, axis is straight, goes through your feet. Right leg is really free, no muscle tension. Open, the comfortable spot. Make a little turning, go up a little bit. Same thing, turning your axis, keep your tailbone low. Your body weight should be to the front leg. Then the palm going to the palm. You start lifting up your right leg. Even your, your weight still close to the front, but you try to lift up your front leg. So the pressure goes to the back leg. Then turn your hand. Imagine something you can grab from here. That's you. You're moving your body by the hand stretches. Move your body from and up. And you need to turn your hand in the same spot. You're dropping your body, holding your head. Try to lift up your front leg, the pressure goes to the back. You open up, go on. From here, also imagine a platform your hand and use the traction. Pull your body up in front. And then dropping your body, keep your elbow rounded. So the pressure shoot out from the front, your body actually towards the back. A single leg, make a turn, you need to shake to the left leg so you can turn your right feet. No position change on your hand, just the turning your excess. You swing, chain your axis in between legs. On this position, imagine you're, you're at, the body has a whip, the feet is a hand, grab. So you're shifting your hand, this twist goes automatically. Open the feet, turn, no big position chain on the hand, actually turn your axis. At the same time, turn your feet. From here, you push your body a little up, so the pressure behind, uh, below your hand down, your body goes up. Then you're pulling your body to the front a little bit. Then you drop your body so the pressure goes out from your hand. And then check, try to lift out your front leg, the pressure on the back leg. And turn your body, keep the front ball in front of you. And this turn, whole body turn. Now your hands goes front, body goes to the back. Now imagine your hand is pulling something. You can pull your body to the front leg again, then up. Then drop your body so your hand 
for the front and up. Your body go lower and back. Holding the big ball. Open the leg. Now squeeze this ball by loosening up yourself, dropping your tailbone. This ball really getting squeezed. The whole body weight on one leg. Open a little bit. Open up. This big circle started drawing this circle bigger and bigger. If not big enough, inhale, exhale, make a bigger ball as big as possible. And keep turning, 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 turning. Your body shape to the front leg so you have enough room to turn. Close halfway on your feet. Open up, drop the tailbone, extend your back spine. Keep dropping the tailbone. Don't shake that, just drop in the same spot. Now imagine grab some things so your body can be front. Close halfway over back leg. Stand up a little bit. Make sure your whole body moves. Inhale, exhale. When you exhale, you drop in. Your arms floating up. Drop a little more. Hold this ball, open the leg, stand up, drop the tailbone, expand your back spine, floating your head, drop your body again so your hand goes up. Imagine something in front of your hand, you grab your body, grab your body to the front. Open the leg, stand up a little bit, drop the tailbone first, extend your back spine. Keep dropping. Don't worry about too much your hand. The hand goes itself. Whatever your body doing right, the hand goes away. Stand up a little bit. Drop the tailbone. Extend your spine. Dropping. Grab your body to the front. Grab your body up. Drop before you move. Left hand to grab something in so your body shape. Stand up a little bit. Punch the fist, not punch out. By dropping your body and back to the back. Turn. Push your body up. Body down, hands up. Shifting back. Shifting the front. This is a big circle you're drawing for your axis. Two, three, turn. Relax, shift into one leg, the other leg totally free. Exhale, so your body expand. Let it, the ball getting more air, your hand to the front, back to the back. And you're holding on that ball. Your hand goes down still on that ball surface. It's not leaving that surface. The ball pumped in a little bit, goes down a little bit. No matter how much you are there, check your whole body. It's even. Back, your arm, your hand, your finger, toe. Everywhere have to be even. Up to that. Everybody's ready? I'm not going to take your shoulder.